What is this neutronium you hear about in science fiction so often? In 1926, scientist Andres von Anerpoff coined a term for a hypothetical element zero on the periodic table. This element would have no protons and would be above hydrogen. With no element symbol, it would be denoted by only a single dash. The name he gave this element was neutronium. In 1932, when the neutron was discovered, neutronium was able to get a proper definition beyond simply being element zero. A clump of matter made up entirely of neutrons, with no electrons and no protons. The question now is, can neutronium actually exist? And if so, what would its properties be? Free element. The term neutronium isn't generally used in scientific literature, as it's not a single defined thing. It's more of a casual descriptor, like unobtainium. Moreover, the meaning of the term has actually drifted in usage, and is more often used to describe something else these days, which I'll cover later. Starting from its original meaning, there are a number of things that could potentially be considered neutronium. There is some thought that neutrons can exist in bonded form free of protons, which would make different clumps of neutrons isotopes of element zero. Mononeutron A mononeutron is a single isolated neutron. One would be hard pressed to call this an element, however. Isolated neutrons only have a mean lifetime of around 15 minutes, at which point they undergo beta decay, producing a proton, electron, and antineutrino. Neutrons like to decay when they are all alone. This will become important later. Dineutron A dineutron is a pair of neutrons, and actually has been observed. However, it's not a bound particle in the usual sense. More just two neutrons that decided to hang out for a bit in an almost bonded state, but not quite. There are many hypotheses surrounding the dineutron and what it possibly is, like being a temporary resonance state in a nuclear reaction. Whatever it is, it's almost an atom, but not quite an atom. Trineutron the tri-neutron would be three neutrons bonded together. Much like a non-corrupt politician or a Fantastic Four movie that doesn't suck, the tri-neutron is not expected to exist. Tetra-neutron The tetra-neutron is a clump of four neutrons bonded together. This particle might exist and has been reported in the past. However, its existence has not been verified, so it's still a hypothetical. Pentaneutron The pentaneutron is a hypothetical collection of five neutrons. Such an arrangement might exist, but if it does, calculations indicate it will not be a bound particle, more of a neutron gang. Neutron matter The only legitimate isotope candidate for neutron matter known is currently the free neutron. But let's say we could collect up some neutron matter and study it. What would it be like? Being made up only of neutrons, it would have no charge, be very low mass, short half-life, be extremely radioactive, and would decay into hydrogen over time. Bulk neutron matter would exist as an inert gas, likely classified as a noble gas. It would interact very weakly with other matter and visible light, making it very hard to observe and very hard to contain. Since it would have no electrostatic force, it would simply diffuse through the solid walls of most solid materials it was contained in, just slipping out between the atoms with little care. Neutron matter would be half as dense as hydrogen and would remain a gas down to absolute zero. Of course, if you had a container of neutron matter gas, it would decay into hydrogen over the course of 10 to 15 minutes, producing a lot of radiation as it does. So, no neutronium party balloons. Neutron stars. In recent times, neutronium has changed a little to refer to the matter present in the heart of neutron stars. The term neutron degenerate matter is more often used. This form of neutronium would be a lot more exotic. It's highly compressed, highly dense, and highly variable depending on depth within the neutron star. When dealing with pressures and matter interactions inside neutron stars, things start to get a little bit complicated. You start encountering terms like neutron-proton-fermi liquid, quark-gluon-plasma, strange matter, and nuclear pasta. So, for simplicity, we will ignore all of that and just refer to the highly compressed matter made of neutrons with no protons or electrons. Can I look at it? No, you would not want to be anywhere near exposed neutron star neutronium. It is kept in state by the intense compression of the gravity. If you pulled a teaspoon amount of neutron star neutronium out and observed it as is, it would weigh more than Mount Everest and, free from the gravity well, would start to rapidly decay. The decay of a teaspoon of neutronium would produce more energy than the sun produces in any given second. If you did this on Earth, there would be no more Earth. At least not much of it left, anyways. This is also why neutronium could also be considered the most powerful explosive substance known, even more so than antimatter. 
At its most basic, neutronium is just an umbrella term casually used to describe neutron matter. The realities of it are a far cry from what we see in science fiction. So next time you see someone say some alien device is made of neutronium, be very concerned about the well-being of the characters.